today's video, we're going to be working on this unit. Uh, this is a uh, Amtrak F7 locomotive, I believe, um, manufactured by Athern. I have no clue what's wrong with it, but uh, these Atherns are usually pretty tough. I rarely see these things get permanently broken, but like any other locomotive, things do go wrong. So, you know, they uh, need to be restored. This one will start. So hopefully we can find out why. So right off the bat, I do see a, a problem. We've got a uh, transmission, which isn't connected to that. So evidently this motor must have come out at some point. Um, yeah, it's the only real problem I can see right off the bat. But Okay, so the motor is a little bit loose. Which could explain why it's not starting, because uh, the Atherns, uh, they've got a little bit of an unusual design, because the whole frame is electrified, but they also, you know, they need both currents, so the motor takes some power th somewhere down here, so, um, yeah, I'm not sure if maybe the motor's loose, and that's why it's not uh, getting power. Let's test it and see if we can diagnose exactly what's going on. So we've got her on the track, let's try applying a little bit of power. And, okay, that's interesting. I, I thought the last time we applied power to this thing, it didn't work. And now it appears to be running, so I'm not sure what's going on. It is making a terrible uh, metal noise. I'm not sure if that has to do with uh, this thing being incorrectly adjusted. Let's try pulling off this clip right here. See if that will get rid of the metal noise. Nope, there's a metal noise coming from somewhere else, evidently. It's now tomorrow, tomorrow being Friday, October 19th, and uh, I've been playing around with this uh, motor, um, and it has nothing to do with the motor. The problem is, if you look down here, uh, you can see these clips, and these are common with all atherns, they hold on the motor. You can see those are broken. So, basically, I think what happened is the motor kind of got caught in a uh, way it shouldn't, and uh, it allowed it to uh, rub up against these metal bits. So, now we can reassemble the motor with all the parts and we'll see if uh if it doesn't sit right because uh, i think it was just it popped out at some point and somebody didn't put it back properly but we'll see if uh if it needs to be glued down Now, um, trying to get it down to those clips is going to be a little hard. I might have got this motor backwards. Um, there we go. Okay, so we've got the motor in right, but uh, I wasn't able to get the transmission on. That's not a problem though, because of course these trucks do uh, come off, so we can take the truck off and mount the transmission properly. So we're technically not supposed to do it that way. I was just trying to save a bit of time. Um, there we go. Get this piece around here. Just gonna check. I guess we may as well add a little bit of grease while we're in here. Should probably add grease to the other one too, actually, so that they're even. Don't need much. Let's take this and just distribute it a bit. It will mostly distribute itself as it turns inside the gearbox, but you know. Sound right? Yeah, that's good. 
the lid off this gearbox and we can add a bit of grease to this one too. Just want a little blob like that. And just spread it a little bit. Doesn't need to be spread much. Fair enough. Boom. So we've got her on the track. It really is a great looking engine. So uh, let's test her out. Did I turn on momentum by accident? What is going on here? Uh, that's not good. Okay, so I figured out the problem. I accidentally bumped the momentum switch, so now, there we go. Oh yeah, she's strong too. Oh, we got a working headlight. Ooh, wow, it re-railed itself. So uh, yeah, I'd call that a success. We have reverse two. Yeah, we do. Very nice. So that's it for today's video. Sorry I didn't uh, take any footage of taking out the motor, but I really just wasn't sure what was wrong with this thing, and I just needed to keep investigating until I found the problem, and at the end of the day we did, and we have a working engine now, so I'd say that's a success.